everyone so I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my screen printed shirts so what you will need is your screen mine is obviously very used um, I've used it for several different designs um, I am I have a new one downstairs I just haven't grabbed it I want to get these orders done so we're just gonna use it but it is washed it's dry there's no um, ink on it that's going to ruin anything so you're all good it's just um, stained you are going to need obviously your stencil so I just finished cutting mine um, so this is a shirt that I offer in my shop that is the spooky babe design so it is just a simple um, SVG file that I actually bought off of Etsy and it just says spooky babe I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it but you can kind of see it on the screen that's the one that we're doing today um, one of my best sellers right now with it being almost Halloween so we're making two of those today you are going to need tape for your screen. So you got your your stencil or your, your screen, your stencil, which I like I said, I just use vinyl with an image that I bought. You're gonna need your tape, your weeding tool to weed your stencil, and then you're going to need your printing screens, um, your printing ink. So I'm going to be using black ink. So I've got my black ink right here. This is the Speedball ink. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. You can get them online. You can get them wherever. But this is the black screen printing ink from Speedball. And then you're going to need your um, squeegee is what I call it. So there is that. And I think that's about it. Um, you're going to need a popsicle stick or a spoon to scoop your ink. But that's pretty simple. So there we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm going to weed my image. I'm gonna fix my chair first, and then we are going to weed the image. So let me move all the stuff out of the way. Um, and then optional, just to help get it centered, is this ruler. These rulers are super awesome. Um, this one is by Puzzle Tumblers. Um, she just launched these, and this has saved me so much on shirts by helping me get everything centered, so I will be showing you guys how I'm gonna do that. So, there we go. So first, we're going to weed the image. So, this is just, um, what's the word that I'm thinking of? Um, not temporary. Oh my god, a removable vinyl. And you're going to weed out all of the words. So everything that you want to show on the shirt is what you're gonna weed out. So you can see, I'm just weeding out all of the lettering, making sure that I leave behind all of the bits that I want so just like that that is a reverse spooky all right let me fix this part right here there we go and this just is like I said removable vinyl so nothing fancy um, this is just what I use for my tumblers and I like doing this for my screen printer shirts just because it's super easy I have it here um, it's super easy to cut on my Cricut and yeah so, and then I'm gonna do the background. So I'm just turning it so I can get an angle that works for me. There we go. These little things down here, I always like to try to run away. There we go. All right, and then this is that frame for the design that I'm doing. I've got my little spider friend down here. There we go. So there is my design weeded, so super easy. Um, you can buy stencils, you can buy vinyl stencils, you could do that, but if you already have a Cricut and everything, it's super easy to just make them. And then that way you can also personalize them for what you need. I'm just fixing this little piece up here that got loose, making sure not to touch the background of it. The sticky side, there we go. All right, so now I've got that all ready. I'm going to just take some transfer tape I'm going to use this big sheet that I have right here and I'm just going to carefully drop it on from the middle out and then before I touch it I'm going to get a squeegee sorry if that's shaking the camera there we go and I'm going to carefully squeegee it out to get rid of any bubbles you want to try to keep it just as smooth as possible so there we go I'm not pushing too hard I'm just trying to make sure that I've got it on there and then I want to just make sure I cover the whole thing, so I'm just going to take another piece and do the same thing. There we go. Alright, 
so now I'm going to take my screen. So when you're screen printing, this is the side that you work on. So your frame, so like the screen is on the back and then you have all of this frame. So you're gonna flip it upside down. I mirror my image because that way your vinyl is going to sit on the back of your screen and you're not going to be scraping on it and that's going to make it last better. So if you're doing more than one shirt, which I'm doing two today, um, that'll help it last. So mirror your image when you cut it and you'll be putting it on the back like I am right now. If you don't mirror it, that's not a problem. Like if you forgot, you can just put it on the front side, but I'm putting it on the back side of my screen right now. And then you're just gonna wanna bend it and get it right. I'm gonna line it up with my previous image a little bit. There we go. All right, carefully like that. I'm gonna just kind of press it all in my hand and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to squeegee this side. This is gonna get that adhesive to stick to your silk so you can get that nice crisp image on your shirts. And now you can see that the image is right side forward. So like I said, if you didn't mirror your image, you're just gonna stick the vinyl on this side. I like to mirror it though so that way I can get multiple shirts and that way when you're pulling your squeegee down, putting your ink on, you're not gonna accidentally lift that vinyl and mess up your shirt. So that's why I like doing it this way. Um, so I highly recommend it. But I'm just using my Cricut vinyl squeegee one. All right. And then you're gonna take off that transfer tape. Your vinyl is going to try to peel up a little bit. Just press it on. Um, you just go slow and carefully once you get to your design. And then save this transfer tape. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I always see lots of people throw away their transfer tape after one use. Like, no, save that. It's expensive, or it can be expensive, but you can definitely reuse it. So I always save my shirt ones that like don't touch anything. Um, save them for future projects. All right, and you're gonna just peel off slowly. A good way to get your vinyl to stay as best as possible is to pull at a sharp angle. So you see that I'm pulling it flat against the screen. That's going to help keep your vinyl stuck to your screen instead of your transfer tape. If you get a difficult spot, you can just use your little weeding tool or your finger, depending on how big it is, and you carefully stick it to your screen instead of your transfer tape. So, and I'm just gonna do this in like one big swoop without editing, just to show you guys the whole process. I don't want you guys to think that I like skipped anything. Um, but this is how I do mine. So, and then you see whenever a part starts peeling up, I just kind of press it with my finger and it usually sticks pretty good. Um, I found that that works for me. This vinyl is just from Amazon, it's nothing fancy. Um, if you have better vinyl, you might not have to worry about it. Or if you have not as strong sticky uh, transfer tape, then that may help too. But you just wanna pull carefully and you don't wanna push too hard on your screen, obviously because you could poke a hole in it. <laughs> so make sure you're careful. And just work your way along your design. This part is kind of annoying, but obviously it's kind of necessary. I mean, I guess you could leave your transfer tape on while you're printing, but then you're just gonna have to throw that transfer tape away at the end. And like I said, I like to reuse mine. Um, oh no, you couldn't leave it on, duh. I'm, so, I'm not even thinking, it's late at night, you guys. You have to take it off, obviously, to print it onto the shirt. What am I saying? Don't listen to that part. <laughs> but yeah, you have to peel off your transfer tape. There we go. We're almost there. All right. Last little bit. There we go. So there is that. So you want to make sure your design is smooth. So I put this transfer tape back on its backing sheet so I can save it for next time. There we go. All right, so you wanna make sure that it is smooth, right? So let me turn you guys a little bit. There we go, that's better. All right, so you wanna make sure it's smooth, so I'm gonna flip it back over to the front and I'm gonna squeegee it down. So that way any of the parts that lifted will be flat, okay? And then, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but like right here, you can see that there's kind of a bubble. So you can sometimes just flatten them down and they'll stay, but sometimes you can't. So I just go in with my scissors very carefully 
um, if I knew where my little scissors were, I would use those. But I'm just going to go into those few spots, lift it up a little bit, and cut it, and just press it down. So that gets rid of that bubble. So I'm going to do that for any of those spots that are lifting, and this will help make it your design crisp. You won't have any bleeding spots. So I'm going to make sure that I have all of my spots that are doing that, even if it's small. I'm going to go through and just trim them real quick. You're not cutting a section out, you're just making a slit, so that way they line up still. Alright, got a little one right there, so I'm just going to use my weaving tool to just get in there and clip it. So you can see I'm not affecting the design at all, I'm not cutting out any pieces, it's just getting rid of that air bubble. Which you don't want the air bubbles because then it will ruin your crisp design. Alright, and then this last one over here. All right, and now that you've done that, obviously you've lifted that vinyl, so you're gonna wanna come over here, press it one more time with your squeegee. Okay, now, obviously, you could just print like this, and I see people do it all the time, and you can, that's great, but I'm a messy person, so I would get inks all on the sides, so you're just gonna take some masking tape, or a painter's tape, and you're just gonna go along your image and tape it off. So don't cover your actual image, just cover the background of the screen, if that makes sense. So I'll show you guys, obviously. It doesn't have to be perfect. It could have bumps as long as you can't see that screen that was there anymore. So you're going to go around your whole image and do that. So I like to use this thick painter's tape. So it's much thicker than a lot of other painter's tape that I normally use. Um, and it just makes this process much quicker. So I'm just going to go around, put it on, and then press out the bubbles as well. And that's just going to save you from having to be super careful, um, and you can just make your shirt. You don't have to worry about it getting onto the background of your shirt. And that's why you, I left a lot of vinyl on the top and the bottom. I'm usually really resourceful, and I don't like to waste vinyl, but just doing that will just save tape and time, you know, putting it all together. So whether you want to tape it or use vinyl, that is up to you. Both work great. All right, I got one last corner, and then we should be pretty good. And so like I said, these don't have to be perfect. They can be kind of bumpy as long as you can't see the thing. So I cannot see through any of those parts, so I'm good to go. So I'm going to make sure everything's flattened back there everything's covered so we are good to go so i'm going to put back away all of this stuff all right move that all out of the way and then i'm going to get my shirt so i like to set down a cardboard box first this just makes it more comfortable for me to um, have a nice flat surface since my desk does have this um, have epoxy and stuff on it so i have my shirt here this is just a Gildan shirt from Hobby Lobby, honestly, and it um, is one of the black ones, and then I went ahead and bleach dyed it. So that is what this design is. All right. So at this point, I'm going to use my ruler. So like I said, this ruler has saved me so much time and effort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the collar, and that's how you do it. So you're going to line it up here with the collar. All right, get it nice and centered. It might not look centered to you guys because you guys are off at an angle, but I'm checking it with my fingers and everything too to make sure that it is centered. All right, okay. And then since we're gonna be using the screen, you could just kind of set it down like this, you know, and then pull out the ruler. Um, and that's just how I do it. You could put a piece of tape. You could do a lot of different things. So, but obviously our design is still see-through and this ruler is a mirrored rose gold is the color I chose so I can definitely see it through my design so I'm going to go through and then I know the center of my design is right here on the P you just find the center of your design and you're gonna line it up with that center mark of your ruler so just like that I'm lining it up and I'm gonna just pull it straight down until I hit the edge of that ruler all right and I'm gonna hold my screen in place 
I'm going to grab my ruler and you're good to go. So now it is perfectly centered and three inches down, which is the standard adult medium or adult um, scale. So I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit like that so you guys can see hopefully what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to scooch all over this way a little. All right, so now we're going to actually print it. So we have our squeegee, we have our popsicle stick, and then we have our ink. So I'm going to just kind of push this down. You don't have to. It doesn't do anything crazy. So I'm going to get my ink, and I'm going to carefully open it and mix this. You just I don't know why you mix it, but I, I always do. I think it just kind of loosens up the ink, you know? You wanna make sure that these containers, if you're reusing them, are fully sealed because they will dry out if you don't, so. All right, so now we've got our ink. Um, a spoon is easier because you can scoop more product at once, but I just have popsicle sticks near me, so that's what I use. So you're just gonna go and add a lot of ink. Um, the nice thing about screen printing is you can put the ink back. Whatever ink you end up not using, you can put back in this tub. Um, so once you, so if you pull out way too much, like three times the amount that you need, no worries because you can just put it back. So be generous. You wanna make sure that you get a nice coat of ink on your shirt so that way it's not splotchy um, and it just looks good. So. Be generous, you can always add more, um, and you can always take away. So it's, it's really forgiving, which is perfect, you know? All right, so I've added a lot of ink. You guys can just see there's a big mound of ink up there, and I'm just gonna leave this sitting in there because I will be needing it for my second shirt. And then all you do is you're gonna hold your screen in place. There are devices that will hold it for you, but I just hold mine by hand. I just make sure I'm putting a good amount of force right there. And you're going to take your squeegee and you're going to pull down at an angle. Okay? So you're going to pull at an angle and it's going to press the ink through your design onto your thing. So you want to use a good, like, medium pressure. You guys can hear that I'm pushing, but I'm not, like, gouging at my screen. It is silk, so it can rip. So you want to be nice, but you want to make sure you obviously get your design through so good medium pressure and you want to go until you have a nice coat all over this stuff does dry pretty quick though so you want to move fairly quick and then for smaller designs like this I like to hit it sideways real fast to get it so there's no lines you see there's like gooped lines you don't want any lines on your image because it'll dry like that so now I'm just gonna go through and peel it up and there we go we have a nice put together design so I'm gonna just lay this down face down over here just so it's out of the way and then I'm going to pick my shirt up and it's going to need to dry so I'm gonna move it carefully do not let it bend or touch all right you don't let it bend or touch anything I just have it laying flat over there and if you're doing the same design you're gonna want to get moved quickly because like I said, this stuff does dry pretty quick. Right? So there's my other one. Same shirt, same design. Alright. I'm going to kind of pinpoint the center of my shirt. Great. Right there. And then this one I'm going to be careful because now my screen does have ink on it and I don't want to get ink on that. So I'm going to find where that line would be. There's the center. And since it is mirrored, it really helps to see where it is. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm going to set this down. Great, okay. We're gonna move the ruler out of the way. So that mirrored ruler is amazing. It has helped me so much um, get these shirts straight so I'm gonna just take the ink off my squeegee and put it up here for this one just like that and then I'm just gonna get more from the little tub 
So the ink dries fast, like I said. You do still have a minute to work, but you do wanna make sure you're working fast. All right, because it will start drying on the screen, which is why my screen has some staining. If you're only doing one shirt, you could finish it real fast, and before you even move your shirt off your workstation, you could go rinse real fast. Because um, as soon as I finish this, I will end the video, and I'm going to go rinse. So once again, just nice straight swoops down the shirt. All right, doesn't take a lot. All right, and then I do the one across on these smaller images. You just wanna make it so you have no creasing lines. And peel it off. All right, so once again, you're gonna to wanna to let this dry. You're gonna scrape off all this ink. So all this ink that is on this squeegee, you can scrape off. And then you just wash it off with cold water and let everything air dry. So I will be back to explain how to finish it. That is how I do my screen printed shirts. This one is the one that we just finished, so I'm gonna keep it very flat. But this is the one that we just finished. You're gonna let it air dry. And then I take mine over to my heat press. It's a 15 by 15 fancier studio heat press. Um, and I usually press mine for 30 seconds at about 385 degrees. Um, just because once it's completely air dried, you want it to be completely dry before you do that. Um, once it's air dried, you want to heat it into the shirt or like into the fibers of the shirt so that way it will last. Um, otherwise, if you don't heat set it, it might wash off over time, but once you heat set it into the shirt, it'll be good. And then you want to use air dried, which if you let it air dry, I typically leave mine overnight. You can hit it with a hair dryer, but you wanna make sure that it is dry. Once you press it, you're good to go. You can package it up and ship it out. So it's really awesome. Um, but now you know how I like to screen print my shirts. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Um, um, I'm going to be doing more videos with this ruler because I honestly think it is so amazing. Um, I don't know what you guys can see. Oh, you can see yourself. <laughs> but um, I said my tumblers over there. Oh, yeah. Lots of goodies. So I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can actually see. But this is um, an acrylic ruler. It's super lightweight. Like super lightweight um they have four different colors to choose from there's rose gold pink silver and gold they're mirrored which honestly i thought might be kind of distracting at first but you know i was like okay you know what like i'm gonna get it and it helps so much to see it even through the inks and stuff it's amazing so um i highly recommend these if you guys want to get them i'll have them linked down below and you can use my code morgan12 to get 12 percent off so and then they also sell tumblers and stuff and glitter and mold and everything. I love puzzle tumblers, um, if you guys don't know that already. But um, they sell shirt transfers too. They're high, high quality um, vinyl transfers. I've got ink on my fingers. <laughs> but um, they sell the transfers as well that you can get. There's different ones for the holidays. I don't know if she's getting more. So I definitely highly recommend you guys check out puzzletumblers.com. Get the ruler. If you make shirts, you need one of these rulers. I personally love this rose gold color. It is so pretty. Um, ooh. But the pink is super pink and pretty. The gold and the silver are, uh, they're just all so pretty, honestly. So I highly recommend these. Like I said, they're super lightweight. You can just kind of store them up on your desk. They're super pretty. Um, but they are a lifesaver. So I made my own Spooky Babe shirt when I first, like the first one that I like took pictures of and stuff. I made it without this ruler and it's a whole inch off to the side and I measured in everything so this thing has saved me so much and it's made my shirts look more professional so highly recommend it um, screen printing is super easy like I said you just saw the whole process I didn't really edit that until I just clipped these two clips together but like super easy process if you guys want to see how to make um, sublimated shirts I'm going to be doing that in the next video showing off the ruler on how I do my sublimated shirts because obviously it's a little different since you can do it straight to the press but yeah so if you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you have any questions let me know um, if you guys want to see more screen printing stuff let me know shirt stuff um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye